there. Does it help? Yeah, to help a Joker trailer. Oh, Newark. A lot of this was recorded in Newark, New Jersey. Mm -hmm. I, my friends all went to see it. I haven't seen it yet. Seems normal so far. Doctor and joy to the world. Now we know what happened to Joker. October's definitely the plan this year we'd have something like this going on. Or is it getting crazier out there? A lot of this is like commentary on like real world issues and not just like he's crazy. I haven't seen the movie yet, but I definitely want to go see it. I've seen the trailer already, and I, I definitely want to see it. I've heard good things about the movie. So that was the trailer for the recently released film Joker, which was recently released on October 4th, starring Joaquin Phoenix as Joker. Yep. Like DC's finally doing the Joker even after the Dark Knight trilogy, and I think it's really good. I heard there's a lot of awards out for it already, so they did a good job. So have you seen the film yet? No, I haven't, but that's just because I haven't had time to, but I'm definitely going to see it. No, I have not seen the film yet. My friends and I are actually planning to go this weekend. Not yet. I'm planning to at some point. The trailer's definitely got me in the mood to see it. Planning to, but I'm kind of not sure because it has that creepy vibe, and I'm kind of nervous on my own just watching it. So the Joker has been known to be one of the most infamous villains in the history of comic books, maybe being in Batman and DC comic books and movies. So what is it about Joker having his own film that makes him so unique? Well, it's the Joker. He's always had his own quirky, unique, but very bio character that separated him and the Dark Knight and basically any other villains. I think just because of how iconic he is, it's, it's the Joker. If you know what Batman is, or if you know a superhero, you most likely have heard of the Joker. There's really no other comic book villain that can really top him. It makes him unique because it makes him less of a villain. Because villains don't normally get the spotlight in movies, it's normally the heroes. So it makes him like special. Obviously, he's like one of the most popular villains in the DC universe. So of course, having his own movie has to happen. You know, if not the most popular, definitely one of the most popular. The film itself has actually generated a lot of controversy, however. The majority of the reason being for inspiring real world violence or the fears of actually inspiring it all together, especially what's going on in today's world. Do you think the film is an accurate portrayal of today's society and why why not? I mean, I wouldn't know. I haven't seen the movie, so I would have to see the movie because I've definitely heard about that. I've heard about people talking about like uh, just a lot of controversy, so I want to. I, I need to go see what people are talking about. It is, because if you're just walking down the street or you're just minding your own business, you never know what can happen to you, especially if you're down somewhere in Newark or you're just by yourself in general, Like especially for a woman that's even more scary because we're more likely to get jumped than anything. It starts with him being bullied and being like scrutinized for who he is, and that's basically what's happening in the world today. And then even as he gets older, there's still bullying, and it shows his mental illness progressing. Because without those things, his mental illness might not have progressed as much as it did. The biggest issue with society is that it basically has people stepping on each other, whether they have something going on or not, and nobody cares. So 
a rebellion of some kind makes some sort of sense because society is messed up. Do you think it's okay for films like this to generate this much of a division when it comes to opinion between what's real in the world and what's not, and why or why not? Well, we always get that certain like appeal or just images in anything we watch. It could either be books, movies, videos, or anything, but either way, you kind of have to find a good balance between fiction and reality. I feel like, uh, I feel like this is a very interesting way to have people show their true colors out, whether it be whether it be on really good acting or in the case of as a potentially mentally unstable man just getting beaten down to a pulp just for who he is and nothing more or less. I don't think it split people because it kind of is real but at the same time like it's not real because this isn't a real villain. There's no joker running around in the streets but there is real mental illness and it's showing in film. Some stuff like I said, I haven't seen the movie, so I don't know what exactly was done in the movie that's causing all the controversy and things like that. So I will have to go see the movie to go to like really have an opinion on that. The film is also known for discussing the topic of mental illness and its effects. Do you think it's important for films like this to cover real world topics like this, especially with the fear that mentally ill people could end up triggering violence like what was seen in the film? Yes, I do think it's important to get the word out that there are these issues, so we have to like pay attention and make sure it doesn't really happen. Like it won't happen to that extent, but like something like this won't happen to the extent of what happened. I mean, it's definitely important to to cover topics on mental illness and things like that because it's real. Mental illness is definitely a real thing, and. Talk about. We never know what someone's going through, especially mentally. So maybe if they watch this kind of film, they don't feel as alone as they do, struggling with their own mentality and doing their own source of healing or some sort. So I think this film can represent that sort of mentality throughout the audience. It's pretty important. I mean, over the past year, I mean, as an internet junkie myself, I think I've I've looked at over a lot of stuff in the past year. People are not treating mental health seriously, and it's even led to the death of some people. So I think it's very important, or this movie came in just the right point. Let people know that mental health is important, that it should be taken sort of seriously, and that they should, that every measure possible to at least help quell that issue in particular, to prevent something like of an event like the Joker or any other events that happen related to mental illness go on. And do you think the film is a good educational tool to help prevent tragic events like in the film and in the past? I haven't seen the film, so I'll have, I'll have the answer when I, when I see the film. I don't think it's necessarily going to stop it. It's just going to bring light to it at best. It won't, per it won't stop the issue, but it will help more people be aware of it and find ways to prevent it. Maybe, yes and no. Because like, it's probably really violent so we wouldn't want to show it in school but at the same time like it is a good like thing to show for like more adults like college students because then like we understand that like this is mental illness and like this is what happens when you get bullied and like this is what happens when this happens in your life so kind of accurate he describes that you can't really um, try and stop something that can you really have no way of predicting so preventing tragedy is something that we can't predict nonetheless because we're not mind readers. If we were, we wouldn't have so much stuff happening to us in the beginning. This film kind of teaches us what can happen and maybe give us an insight of what we can do to prevent certain things to happen. So finally, after learning about all of this, do you still plan on seeing Joker before it leaves theaters? Now more than ever, I plan on seeing it. Of course, I absolutely want to see this movie. Yeah, but with somebody with me, I'm not going to watch this by myself because I need somebody to hold my hand throughout the whole film. But I think it's really just phenomenal, especially the actor that portrayed the Joker and the previous one beforehand. They were actually good friends from what I found out. And this is kind of him representing his great friend in his own way. Of course. I definitely, I definitely have to see it.